Race relations and diversity are the center of discussions all over the country, from politics to protests. But what happens in a place where race issues are so seldomly discussed? The U.S. Census Bureau reports the United States of America's population consists of 13% African Americans, South Carolina's 27%, Clemson University's 6%. In a country that is becoming more diverse by the minute, some wonder where Clemson University stands on becoming more diverse. Fifty-one years since Clemson broke cultural norms and desegregated with the admission of their first black student, Harvey Gant, many question how far the university is advancing in the area of diversity. Though, this phenomenon is not something that people at Clemson are choosing to ignore. Faculty and students are actively working together to change what it means to talk about diversity and the benefits to Clemson. Dr. Rhonda Thomas and Dr. Diane Perpich are no strangers to the subject of race at Clemson. Both active in the academic community, these professors join together with the help of a larger committee to create Race in the University, a campus conversation. The year-long program hopes to shine a light on the history that exists with Clemson and race and how the university is built on these grounds. So we're trying to encourage the university to really come to terms with that complicated history of our land and think about how it, it uh, influences where we are today uh, and how we can use uh, this conversation of, of sort of reckoning with our past and coming to terms with our past uh, as we think about the kind of campus that we want now and in the future. Race in the University is aiming to start a dialogue on campus where students, faculty, and administrators feel comfortable discussing the past that shaped Clemson today. So it's not that anybody on campus doesn't know that race and the university intersect. We just haven't had the conversations, multiple conversations, that we need to be having. At a university where the Clemson family is emphasized, it seems essential that these conversations take place in order to welcome members of this family from all different walks of life. So that we can begin to reshape some of our narratives on campus so that we can add to the things that we memorialize and how we memorialize Clemson's past and that we can also then shape a much more inclusive future. Using the past to shape our future isn't just a goal of Perpich and Thomas, but also of Dr. Craig Wilder, a history professor from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, who came to Clemson to speak on race in the university and the importance of embracing the past as the university attempts to move forward. We can't run away from our own past. It, history pursues us. It follows us. It marches right behind us. And no matter how fast we run, we can't escape it. As Clemson works to increase diversity, many students are tasked with adjusting to a community much different from their own. Though they may come from different backgrounds, Ronnell Yarber and Kristen Hooser are both aware of the lack of diversity on Clemson's campus. Yarber, the daughter of a Navy officer, spent her life in places from Virginia to Japan, and after transferring from another university, the lack of diversity was somewhat of an adjustment. Because um, when I was in the University of Tampa, um, that's where most of the foreigners come in, so there are people from all over the world in one school and come here. It's just like kind of the same across the board, but yeah. Though many students recognize the similarities of most students on campus, students like Hooser are actively attempting to make Clemson a more inclusive campus. But I guess the longer I was here, the more I started to see the diversity, like pockets of it throughout Clemson, but you just kind of have to search more for it. Today, almost all college students are tasked with learning how to handle race issues, especially at this time in the United States. You know, do we keep our heads in the sand and pretend that this doesn't happen or it doesn't affect us? Clemson is a top 20 university that boasts a friendly atmosphere, and with the help of students, faculty, and administrators, they're actively working to make Clemson a more inclusive place. From Clemson University, Katie Davidson, Clemson News Now.